knew about the existence of pyramids and since middle school. This strange the Russian settlement is out of Russia, far behind the Arctic Circle. I never thought of visiting it because uh, I knew that it's a ghost town, so nobody lives here and besides it's too far and I had no idea how to get here. I found an announcement on the website of Russian Geographical Society about this position. Because I said that I am the most experienced guide ever. I've been working as a guide in many, many regions of the world for more than 10 years. And I got employed. I suspect that I was the only candidate to apply. My name is Alexander Romanovsky, but everybody knows me as Sasha from Pyramid. And In the Soviet period of time, it was a very prestigious place to work. Pyramid and supplied northern regions of the Soviet Union with coal. I heard an opinion that Pyramid is the only place in the world where communism was actually built. to talk to the people who lived and worked here in the 1970s and in 1980s and they uh, consider the years they spent in Pyramiden to be the best years of their lives. But when the Soviet Union collapsed, unfortunately Pyramiden started withering and people started moving out of here. In 1998 the decision was made to close down the mine and to send all the people back to the mainland. and still I'm here. Currently we are six people who live here more or less permanently. We need to be friendly, peaceful and we need to treat each other with respect. That's why political talks are strictly forbidden here. If they were not forbidden, I have no idea what would happen. Two of us are from Western Ukraine, two of us are from Donetsk, two of us are Russians. <laughs> so it's better to keep silence and we live in peace. Every day I need to make a call to my office in Barentsburg. It is situated about 100 kilometers to the south from here. They inform me about whom and when should I expect.
helicopter delivers us correspondence. Maybe it's the most precious thing here because, you know, in Pyramiden we still use this old-fashioned manner of communicating with friends and relatives. We write letters, we send letters and we receive letters. A very slow process, but uh, nevertheless very nice. Okay, so everybody's here. Let's go. Last autumn I proposed to use these bricks to build a great wall around Pyramid and to protect us from polar bears. And they are still thinking about it. <laughs> No, I'm joking, of course. Uh, no, because uh, last autumn in October we had an accident here. A polar bear broke in and it was scary. <laughs> now it's funny to remember, but that night we were all pretty scared. I was supposed to be eaten first because I live on the second floor and the others live on the fourth floor. Well. But I heard him moving the furniture. He broke in through the window, then he got to the bar, he drank our beer, yes, and he devoured our nut storage, he just took some mayonnaise out of the fridge, and then he went out the same way uh, as he came in. Well, and we did not kill him, we are very proud of it. I am not allowed to go outside without my rifle. Because polar bears are quite often to be noticed in the area and sometimes they walk up and down the streets. The last time I saw polar bear it was last Wednesday. I met him face to face at the pier and I got scared to be honest because it was a very unexpected meeting. Suddenly he shows up from behind the mountain of a scrap metal I had to shoot twice, in the air of course, not into the bear, to just scare him away. When guiding I'm responsible for the tourists and I'm responsible for their lives. So I have my gun loaded and ready to shoot. <laughs> I like this place, I like the nature and I obviously like my job. It was a surprise for me to start loving this occupation because I'm not a sociable person. I don't feel uncomfortable being alone here in Pyramidal. Muchacho. Araña. Cuchara. Margarita. Margarita. Margarita, por favor. Margarita, la secretaria. Entra en la oficina de Lola. El dossier uh, del caso Sanchez. It's an obligatory condition. You need to obtain some special features of character to live here. I got used to it too much, I think. So for me, it's a routine and ordinary thing to realize as I am far behind the Arctic Circle. Maybe I'm the northernmost uh, headbanger in the world. Is it by mistake or design? I feel so alone on Friday night. Can you make it feel like home if I tell you your mind? Like I told Let me take a walk on wild sides. Let me kiss your heart in a pouring rain. You like a girl's insane Choose your last words You know, here I'm a person and everybody knows me In St. Petersburg I'm just one of five million people And <laughs> maybe I can sing you something Russian Oh, she's yeah Oh, she's strastny, Oh, she's good. No, I will not sing this definitely. <laughs> uh, maybe you know this one. Also very popular. Не 
слышны в саду даже шорохи. Все здесь замерло до утра. Если б знали вы, как мне дороги подмосковные вечера. Если б знали вы. Речка движется и не движется, Вся из лунного серебра. Песня слышится и не слышится В эти тихие вечера. Песня слышится в эти тихие вечера Что ж ты, милая, смотришь искоса Молча голову Sorry Maybe one verse and chorus is enough